Hello, folks. Welcome to Business Basics. We've been looking this week at 25 things to consider when planning your exit. And today we're looking at financial preparation. I'm joined by my co-host, Andy Hemming, who's got five tips about financial preparation. Andy, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining. Good to be here. So number one, um, get your financial documentation in order. The first thing anybody's going to ask you for is your last three year sets of accounts at minimum and maybe some other documentation, VAT returns, corp tax returns, things like that. Making sure that your numbers are accurate and up to speed is a good indicator that you uh, have your house in order, um, which will give your buyer a favorable impression. Number two, I mean, at the end of the day, a business is only worth what you can finance, actually. So, but understanding what your business valuation is, quite a lot of people value their business based on emotion rather than logic. So set yourself up to be, um, have your expectations managed properly, I would suggest, rather than to be disappointed. So get a decent business valuation and know what your margins for movement are, because at the end of the day, you're going to end up negotiating on this. So just make sure you can hit your personal goals. Absolutely. Optimize the profitability in your business. So there are some obvious improvements that you can make, and that will help uh, demonstrate to your buyer that you are making good strides and have good financial control of the business and also adds value to it, obviously. Number four, tax planning. So entrepreneurs re relief is still available um, at a lesser scale than it was but that's good other ways of um, minimizing your tax burden things like putting your business into an EOT so um, getting some good advice around tax planning would be a great thing to do and number five um, any buyer will want to see your financial projections for the business as well so mm -hmm. history is great future is greater um, so robust finite financial projections built on some solid assumptions would be a good thing to do. Love it, Andy. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Five fantastic tips there. Folks, if you want to find out more, then visit the website, uh, download the guide, 25 things to consider when planning your exit. We can't wait to hear from you. Until next time, bye for now.